Hello, my peeps. It's Gina. This is another curated box uh, put together. It's, we have this humongous elephant. You can see through. Very pretty, but huge. There's people that like elephants, but I don't know if they want a pendant that big, but maybe they'll buy the necklace and use the pendant for something else. <laughs> I don't know. So I have coming down here in the in the V, these have such large holes that I put a couple of beads there to keep it from. I'm going to come down and bring one string of beads down this way, put on a wire protector, and then put on a jump ring, and then have it have it go back up this way. So I got two simple stringing, one on one side, one on the other side. So let's get started. I just wanna get the this side done and see how long it's going to make it. I want it to be a long uh, necklace. I like this crackle glass. I got all the colors of the jungle, I thought. The darkness at night, the green trees, the brown of the, the ground and the rivers, what rivers there is. Because sometimes there is, there, it's so drought. Those animals have to travel like miles and miles and miles to get to a better river or even some sort of water. All right, what do we got going on here? Okay, there we go. I hate it when I run out of room because then it's like, all right, well, where are my beads? What direction are my beads going? I know what direction they're supposed to go. And I was like, yep, got it. So my daughter-in-law had her um, baby shower. It turned out pretty nice. I bought more than I needed to. <laughs> Cups, plates, napkins. It's a boy kind of stuff. We had it all decorated out. It's pretty. Now she's due in January, and it sounds like she's having a C-section, so she's scheduling her C-section so she don't have to wait. <laughs> she can just schedule it. It's her last baby, Vinny. He was a big baby. He was eight pounds. Something, I don't remember what it was. This one, I'm growing pretty good, too. She looks nine months pregnant and she's not even there yet. She has big babies. No, my son wasn't that big. He was only 7'10". So we'll see. Got three more months to go yet. All two. Well, you figure the, the whole month of November and the whole month of December. Yeah, a little over two months. Then, whenever I have Vin, I'm going to have the baby too. And it's like, yikes. I'm getting old. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle a baby. Oh, boy. You know... It's not the crying that, that, that'll that get to me. It's uh, lifting, lifting the baby, carrying the baby. You know, I did so much for Vin. We, I take him to the, to the park, and he always wanted to do the zip line thing, and he could never reach because he wasn't tall enough. And say, like, so I was always lifting him up, putting him on there. Okay, this is nine and three quarter inches. So, I'd like it to be a little longer. I've got these that I made from some other, the other design. I'm going to snip these apart. 
and steal from these. So here's two more. There's that one. And this one. Take all that off. Okay, let's put on this end two more of these. Well, I gotta get out some more green and black. Get out some more green. One on this side, one on that side. Four black. I like it to be a long necklace because it's such a big pendant. I think it belongs to be on a longer necklace. Oops. I want two of these on. Two. And then one of these. Then the green. Then the black. And then that should do, that should bring it up to, oh yeah, that brings it to 11. So that'll be 22 inches plus the clasp plus jump rings here. So that should work. All right, I want to get this ending done here. So we're going to put on a crimp bead. Bead, wire guard, and that's got to get snipped off. Oh, I wonder if this one's the the larger. Uh, I gotta get some different. Wire guards out. So, get two, three, four. We'll take these and put them on the side. Okay, let's do these. There we go. Up. Over, through, and then through the crimp bead. There we go. Poke through. There we go. Now. I don't want to use too much of the wire. We're going to pinch that in a little bit. Squeeze. That'll work. Now I'll pull the wire down again. There we go. And now we're going to crimp. Crimp always go starts all the way in the back, in the back groove for that tooth to make a groove and squeeze. Turn towards the front, turn it sideways and squeeze. There we go. Cut off the excess. That's all the waste we have. Oh, I was going to hang, I was going to put that right on here. And I didn't do that, so I'm going to need a jump ring for all this to go on because I wasn't thinking. How much do I have? Oh, I got plenty left. Oh, 
no, this has to be this side. I was thinking maybe I could just flip it around, but I have all the gold stuff down here on this side. So, jump ring it is. All right, well, let's finish up this side. So we got print bead. Crimp bead. There we go. There's our crimp bead. And then wire guard and one side. Down the next. And we're going to go all the way down to the end here. Put this through the crimp bead. Ah, fiddle faddle, fiddle faddle. All right, let's get a hold of it. There we go. Whoops. There we go. Pull. There we go. Now we want to squeeze this in a little bit. Give it just a little touch. And put that back. Pull this down. Doesn't want to. Pull that print bead up a little bit. There we go. All right, we need some wiggle room. And then we're going to crimp. Back groove, squeeze, turn to the side, and squeeze. Cut off the excess. Up against the... There we go. And now we have one side done. Okay, next side. Green bead. And then this. Okay. Here we go. Second side. Oh, I ruined my sequence here. So we got three of those, then this, green, black, got these again, then these each get a spacer, daisy spacer, that's a daisy spacer. And last one, and then this. And then one, two, black, green, black.
I figured the black would look better against the brown than the green. So I went with black, green, and black. So there's more black than there is green. I like green, but I don't like like Christmassy green. To me, that's like Christmassy green. Okay, now we're just a matter of finishing up the sequence up here. Alrighty. I have got to get, I come in here to get this done real quick. I have to get the kitchen cleaned up. The reason why I get it cleaned up is my husband, ever, you know, whatever flat surface there is in the house, he's got to clutter it up. And he leaves it cluttered up until it's time for company to come over. Then I clear it off and it's like, not really my responsibility to pick up after him but it's got to get done so I think he just does it intentionally well here's my mess it's for you you're welcome <laughs> here let me make sure that I got these even okay another black Green and black. How did I miss that? Okay, two more black. So I got the green. Just need the black. I'm almost out of beads out of this box. Black, green, black, and then I forgot the. No, I got the green down here. Huh. I got an extra green. All right. There we go. Okay. Let's get this side done. Crimp bead. Wire guard. Up and over. Back through the crimp bead and pull down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze this in. It kind of bounces back a little bit, but that's fine. Springs back. Now I'm just trying to pull down, but I think I got too much of a short wire over here. All right, well, let's see. Get it crimped. There we go. And squeeze. Turn and squeeze. There we go. Wow, that's all our waste. That's it. And now... Slide everything down. I'm going to do this end. Crimp bead. Wire guard. And back through the crimp bead. Pull it down. There we go. Squeeze this in. Just a little bit. Pull it down. That's a little tight. 
there we go loosen it up you don't want it too tight because you get it too tight you will crack your crackle beads because what they do is they make these beads and they're nice and hot and then they cool them real fast and and that's what makes the crackle in there so if you tighten up and have it so tight you're putting pressure on those beads and one of them is going to snap and it's going to come off and then your sequence is off and yeah and then you got a hole in your it'll be all loosey-goosey because now there's too much room so we have this squeeze turn and squeeze and snip off okay I don't think that's long enough to make a bracelet maybe an earring all right Got this here this here jump ring I wonder how an oval Nope, better do a round one. All right, only a round jump ring. See how this goes. All right, bent nose. Have your opening up here. Hold this with this side. Get your chain nose. And open it up, just tw tweak it, turn it open this way. Leave the side alone, just use the one side. And we're going to do this. This goes on this side, this goes on this side. Let's go, to, let's see, down through the elephant. Might have to do another jump ring through the elephant. Yeah. Oops. And through the elephant. Yeah, I'm going to have to do another jump ring. See, I was going to just have these connected right to it, but I forgot on this side, so I had to do it on this side. Ah. All right. This goes on this side. This goes on this side. You can't just willy nilly throw them on there because you got to have the right direction or it's going to throw your, your whole piece off. So now we're going to close this back up. And then we're going to get another jump ring to attach this jump ring to this one. That I think I'm going to use an oval one. Same thing with an oval one. Have the opening up at the top. Leave this side alone. Don't move it. Use your chain nose to open it and tweak a little bit more. And then we're gonna put oh, a little bit more. Yeah, that's a thick, pretty thick. Give it some room. There we go. And then bring your jump ring down. And close it up. Oh, I think these are 18 gauge jump rings. And there we have our elephant. Okay, let's put a clasp on. See how this is done? Flip that. It doesn't want to flip. Okay. Here's the round ring holding on to these two. 
and then the oval hanging on to this one. Now, I'm going to put on a clasp. And I have one of these clasps where you pinch it and open it, and then pinch it and shove it in there, and it snaps shut. So I have a couple of jump rings. Here's one. Where's my other jump ring? Oh, I found my other two black beads over here. All right, well, I need a couple more jump rings. Let's get them out. I thought I, well, you know, I had them out, and then I thought, oh, nope, don't need these. So I'm going to get a couple of ovals. These are 18 gauge. So we're going to take this open side up, put it in our bent nose pliers, take our chain nose, and tweak it open. And then we're going to slip this through. And then the jump ring to the clasp. There we go. And then we're going to close it up. See how there's an opening there? Just take it and push it in until it, you feel it click, click, click. Begins to rub. The metal rubs together. You know it's closed. All right. One more time. Tweak this open. And... Put on the jump ring, and then this side. And close. And there we have our long necklace, our big elephant <laughs> necklace. But it's nice and long, so you can hang it down nice and low. See, I don't like how that's not. Oh, well, when you lift it up, it hangs just fine. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. That works for me. Let's get all this scooted out of the way. Off the bat, uh, mat. The batty mat. Okay. See an elephant and then the rest of it. So I brought in some gold here. Some gold uh, spacers and another thing of gold. They look like a uh, like wire wrapped. Looks pretty. So there's our elephant. Alrighty, we got more to come. So I have my bargain bee boxes coming in the mail today, and then Saturday I have gemstone um, orphanage coming. It's not actually the full gemstone orphanage. I don't have the gemstone orphan because when I subscribed, I, I subscribed, but I subscribed to one box. I didn't subscribe to the subscription. So they're revamping everything because everybody's getting it wrong. <laughs> so they're trying to redo everything. So anyway, I went back through and ordered everything that was in the box that I wanted. So that will be here Saturday. Yay! So we have more to dunk, more to come. We are back in business, and I am very happy because I had a very long period where there was nothing, absolutely nothing going on. So I subscribing to more boxes for you. Alrighty. Until next time, happy beating.